Hello, my friends. Welcome to the very first What the K? We're going to be focusing on Korean beauty and skincare in this brand new series. I'm excited. I'm so stoked for this. Oh, yeah. So today on What the K, we are going to be doing animal face masks. I am so excited about these. I got these on Amazon. I paid $11.49 for eight packs, and there's four different variations that I'm gonna show you. The seller's name is Find Inner Peace, but the brand on here is called Shining Nature Purity. And I ordered them on February 22nd. They arrived on February 24th. So the four different kinds are the Animal Panda Whitening Mask. We also have the Animal Tiger Wrinkle mask. Very excited about that one. The Animal Dragon Soothing Mask and the Animal Otter Aqua Mask. And what makes these special is that they make your face actually look like the animal while you're wearing the face mask. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I do not enjoy face masks on the whole. But this seemed like so much fun, I just decided to just bite the bullet and just do it. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put on the Animal Tiger Wrinkle Mask, and then I'm gonna tell you about the ingredients ingredients that are in these and whether they may actually work or not. Oh, oh, what is happening here? Okay, there's some gooby goodness in the bottom of this. We're gonna save that for a minute. I'm just gonna set that right there. Be the change, tiger. So here we go. You guys see this? Dun, 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 dun. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the mask. Dun, 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 dun. Na, 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 na. Oh, it smells a little funky. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to give directions with this thing on, cause. <laughs> <laughs> so we're supposed to leave this on for 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes. Well, it's 10 to 20 minutes. I don't know if you're gonna be able to understand me with this thing on, I wasn't expecting that. Can you take me seriously while I'm wearing this thing? So, one thing I want you to know about. <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously. Okay, I'm breathing it in. I don't think this is meant to like talk as a, on your face. What you need to know about these masks is that, yeah, I can't talk with this thing on because it's like sliding and getting in my mouth and that can't be a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off for now. Would you guys get the point? And I'm gonna save this for in just a minute. Uh, it doesn't feel especially slimy, it just feels wet. Um, so I'm just gonna shove that in there for now and we'll just rub in the goodness. There's a lot of goodness running into my face right now. It's a lot. I'm gonna put some on my hands too, because I could use a little bit of anti-agent. Put a little on the decollete. Let's just bathe in the stuff. Bathe in it. So, as far as the things I want to tell you about these masks. So, the first thing is that there are a couple of ingredients in here that are not as good. So, the first one is phenoxyethanol, which is a preservative that's in a lot of makeup products. Some people can have an allergic reaction to it. Some people are very sensitive to it. The other one is perfume. Perfume and fragrance. You don't know what kind of perfume or fragrance it is. It is the very last ingredient. I feel like my neck is dripping. <laughs> It's the last ingredient in all of the masks. So depending on your thoughts on fragrance, I'm gonna leave some links down below about fragrance. Uh, you may or may want not want to pass on this. The other one is alcohol. It doesn't say what kind of alcohol it is. So depending on the type of alcohol, it can be worse or better. So I don't know what type, so it's hard to tell whether that's gonna be a bad thing or not. So those are the negatives. Now let's talk about the positives. Okay, so for the otter mask, the ingredients are actually really good in this. So we've got glycerin, which is a lubricant and a bonding agent. It attracts water to the skin and helps the skin feel smoother and softer. Coconut water is hydrating, but it needs time to sit on the skin in order to work. Alcohol is the third ingredient, uh, something called betaine. B-E-T-A-I-N-E, -E. it's a humectant and an anti-irritant, so that's probably gonna help with any irritation with the alcohol. Sodium hyaluronate, it promotes skin and blood microcirculation and nutrient absor absorption. Then we have pomegranate juice extract, it helps prevent cell damage, speeds wound healing, as well as plays a positive role in the repair of sun damaged and aging skin. Then we have something called chestnut shell extract, that's for skin firming. Japanese knotweed, which helps to slow the appearance of lines and wrinkles, and and tree halos, 
Trehalose, Trehalose, may allow the skin to retain moisture that it would otherwise lose. And then Lotus Flower Oil, which has antioxidants, it's hydrating and anti-aging. So that's the Otter Aqua, the Animal Otter Aqua Mask. Say that five times fast. Now, a lot of them are the same ingredients. I'll list them down in the description so you can check out which ones are the same. So now we're just gonna talk about the ones that are different. So new ones in this one are Evening Primrose Oil, the anti-aging tiger mask. That's skin soothing and it has emollient benefits and it helps with absorption. Then we have Camella Japonica Seed Oil, which is a potent antioxidant and it's skin soothing. Then we have Sodium Hyaluronate, uh, Pomegranate Juice Extract, Acai, 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 fruit extract that is an antioxidant, and then blueberry extract, which actually treats acne, revitalizes the skin, hastens healing, and makes the skin have an overall glow. Can you tell I didn't make that up because it said hastens healing? I would never say that. But again, links are down below where I found out this information. Okay, the Dragon Soothing Mask has something called beta-glucan in it. It's soothing, moisturizing, and has anti-irritant properties. It promotes wound healing and reduction in scarring. Licorice Root Extract, which is skin soothing and improves the look of an uneven skin tone. Then Green Tea Extract, antioxidant and anti-carcinogenic properties when ingested, but limited studies prove that it does anything for the skin. So we don't really know whether it would do anything on the face mask. And then Rosemary Leaf Extract, which, which is calming on the skin. And then the last one is the whitening one. Niacinamide improves the appearance of enlarged pores, uneven skin tone, fine lines, dullness, and weakened skin surface. Um, can also increase whitening when combined with other whitening products. Then we have something called paper mulberry extract, which is skin whitening. Then mulberry extract, they're actually two different things, brightening and improving uneven skin tone. Then some pomegranate juice extract and some raspberry fruit extract in here. So this definitely has whitening properties in it. I don't know. I think it's just mostly supposed to even out your skin tone and I don't know. It kind of freaks me out. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I won't. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put this mask back on. I'm going to leave it on. Let's see. I've had the juice on my face for about seven minutes. So I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to leave it on for another 10 and then I'll be right back to give you kind of a review of how everything went. Kids, come here. What the heck? <laughs> what? How do I look? What the? Do you want to get turned into animals? Yeah. Yeah? yeah okay. Wanna... Yours is going to be this one. That's you want to turn into a dragon? And then yeah. Lila, you could turn into an oh, otter. Yay. So we'll give John the soothing mask mm -hmm. and Lila the aqua mask. How is it staying on your face? Because it's so slimy. There's so much gooky on it. You don't have to keep it on if you don't like it, okay? <laughs> All right, is are you ready? Does it feel weird? It does. All right, here we go. <laughs> you don't like it, huh? Is it too icky? Why? It is funny. You want to try again? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, put your face up. Okay, here we go. Okay, put your face up. <laughs> is it too gross? <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready to turn into an otter? Yeah. Okay. Is it cold? It's going to be cold and slimy. Alright, here we go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Try to put that so that it doesn't go. <laughs> Alright, how's it feeling? Weird. I look like a beast. You do look like a beast. You're supposed to be a dragon. Do you think that you could wear this for 10 to 20 minutes? Yep. yep. Can you wear it for longer? I think I'll be alright. I don't really like sheet masks like this. Too slimy. Too slimy. All right, John abandoned his. See how wet his face is? So then you take it and you rub it into your face. And you rub all that skincare goodness into your face. Does it still, does it feel sticky? Or does it not feel sticky? Not sticky, just wet? Yeah. Yeah. All right, mine's been on for a long time, so I'm going to take mine off because I've had mine on for a while. Yep. Thank you, buddy. One thing that's good is there's a lot of slime left in the container, on the, in like the pouch. So if you wanted to like reserve that since it hasn't touched the skin, if you want to reserve that, you can kind of use that as like a, like a extra little skincare love just to rub on your face without using the mask. So, and they say you don't have to rinse it off. They say you can keep it on your face and use the, 
skincare benefit goodness. So hopefully I'll be wrinkle free. I doubt it, but hopefully we'll be wrinkle free. So Lila, you're gonna keep that on for a little while. Oh, she's yep. dripping. There's so much liquid on here that it's actually dripping. So overall, I feel like if you like sheet masks, this may be something you want to try out, um, but they are very wet. But they have great ingredients in them. Other than those few, they have some really good ingredients in them and they were relatively inexpensive at only a little over a dollar a piece. Next time on What the K, we're gonna be doing the Golden Monkey Glamour Lip Three Step Kit. And I'm just gonna do that one, not the kits, because it's like a lip plumping thing and that would just be weird for a child. So, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Mad love and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!